Today's micro moment is a little bit about the probability and how it relates to uh, canning, uh, particularly canning of low acid foods. About six months ago, Jim and I published a video and it was called, Is Oven Canning Safe? And it made a little bit of a buzz, both on the positive side and the negative side. We probably got more thumbs down on that video than we did any other video before or since. They didn't like what I said about that, which is that it is not safe. One gentleman said, get out of the dark ages, lady. People have been doing canning like this for a hundred years and nobody ever died. Well, is he right? My response to him and others who made similar comments was, people who can like this do not understand the concept of probability. And so I want to explain that just a little bit more today so that we can all understand the concept of probability and how that relates to canning. So I have here two jars of dried corn. This is blue corn that we grew a few years ago, and this is yellow corn. And um, I have in this little dish one kernel of the blue corn. And here I have 99 kernels of the yellow corn. So I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna dump the blue corn. This is just an empty lunch bag. And I'm just gonna put the blue corn in there and the yellow corn. So now we have a total of 100 kernels of corn in this bag. And if I shake it up and reach in without looking and pull out a kernel of corn, what is the probability that it is going to be that blue kernel of corn? If you said one out of a hundred, you're absolutely right. So let's see what I got. Okay, it is a yellow kernel. Now, because we're working with probabilities, I'm gonna put that right back in there and now we're gonna relate this to canning. So supposing that all of these 100 uh, kernels of corn represent all the jars of canned food done by home canners both home canners that are safe, home canners and follow the rules, and those that are not, the cowboy canners or the rebel canners, whatever they call themselves on YouTube. So if that's all of the jars of canned food and the probability of my picking out that blue corn, let's let that blue corn represent botulism toxin in the jars of food. So what is my probability, the likelihood, the chance that I'm gonna reach in here and pull out a jar of canned food that has toxin of botulism. One in a hundred, still the same. So there it is. Now, if you do unsafe canning, then you're going to increase the probability of botulism. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, if you are like me, and I think that most of you are, the, the blue kernel is still in there, I just checked. I'm going to count real quickly 43 kernels of the yellow corn. And I'm gonna put them right here. Now, why 43? Because in 2005, USDA did a study across the country. They sent out a survey asking people how they canned this food and how they canned that food and what their process was. When they collected the data and analyzed it, their conclusion was that 57% of the home canners in the United States practice unsafe canning. And so I pulled out 43 kernels. This represents the 43% of us who can safely. I'm in this group. I think that most of you are as well. So we're gonna set this aside now. And we still have the botulism in there, but what is the probability now? There are 57 total kernels of corn in here. What's the probability that I'm gonna pull out the blue one? So I reach in and it is a yellow one. So even though the probability is greater that I'm gonna produce botulism if I'm an unsafe canner, that time I did not. And so how many times can I reach in here and pull out a kernel of corn and have it be a yellow one? Uh, I don't know, but the probability is that at some point I have one chance in 57 that I'm gonna be pulling that one out. And so that's how probability works. If we are safe canners, we have reduced the probability of botulism, not all the way, even though there's not a blue corn in here. We have reduced it to where it is almost zero. 
while on the other hand, people who are, take the chance and do not can safely have increased the probability. Now, these are not the real probabilities. The real probabilities are very, very, very small. But you can reach in here for 100 years worth of canning and only pull out yellow. Sooner or later, somebody among the unsafe canners are going to pull out that blue one, like the woman in Salt Lake two years ago who nearly died from botulism because she did not can green beans safely. So my hope is that all of us are in this 43%, that we practice safe canning and we stay far, far away from the probability of producing any of our canning that contains the botulism toxin. And that's how probability works with canning. See you next time.